I'm Sharon Phillips. Here's a look at some of today's top stories from 2 News Oklahoma. An update to a story we first brought you to at breaking news yesterday at noon. We now know the cause behind an emergency plane landing in an Owasso field. OHP says an engine failure in the small twin engine plane caused the pilot to make a forced landing yesterday. That pilot was not injured. TPD is asking for your assistance, identifying a person of interest in a peeping Tom case. Last month, a woman reported a person walked into a come and go bathroom and placed a cell phone on top of the stall next to her. Surveillance video showed this man exiting the woman's restroom just a short time later. He left in a late 2000 model white Ford Edge. Now, if you recognize him, please contact Crime Stoppers. You can remain anonymous. Now over to Quinton, Oklahoma. Leaders there are all holding a town hall meeting tonight to discuss getting rid of its police chief. That's after the McAllister News Capital reported a Pittsburgh County judge ruled he lacks credibility. The judge reportedly says Police Chief Lawrence Rees Jr.'s legal history includes multiple felonies involving dishonesty. Tonight's town hall meeting starts at 6 o'clock. Well, let's get a check of the forecast with meteorologist Annie Brown. Annie, how's it looking out there? Sharon, we're still tracking that hot, humid weather as well as breezy conditions. Heat advisory in effect until 8 this evening, so continue to practice those heat safety precautions. Check this out. Are you feeling closer to 110 over in Bartlesville? What a big jump here across the area. Feeling like 104 here in Tulsa, so we'll continue to stay hydrated. Limit that time outdoors if at all possible. The actual temperature will be in those upper 90s for today. We'll keep a sun cloud mix around, but we will be staying dry. Tomorrow marks the day of some changes. We do have a marginal risk, which is a limited threat for some severe weather to develop. More importantly, this will be driving in some cooler temperatures as we look towards the weekend with high temperatures in those 80s. How about 88 Saturday, Sunday?